BitJourney has just released version 6 and now you can get out there and start creating some images. As you can see from the images on screen here, that the quality is definitely a big step up and a massive improvement from what we've had in the past. But this time we have the ability to add text into our images. And although it can be a little hit and miss, I've been able to get some text to show up pretty accurately in mine. And they do recommend that you write your text in quotations. So and style raw or lower stylized values can actually help a fair bit. Now the improved upscales are available too. At the moment, they only increase by 2x. They have both a subtle and creative mode, which will change how much that the image is actually altered when upscaling. And you can see here, I've actually brought uh, put an example on the screen to compare subtle and creative when compared to the original. So you get a bit of an idea as to what the difference is, although I must say it's not a huge difference, but still uh, I think the creative upscale tends to further develop certain things. So I think so far that's my favorite. And like I said, it's a 2X. So this image being 1024 when it's with its original upscale is now 2048 by 2048. Now this is still just the early days. This is not what version six is actually gonna end up at. They're actually still refining and changing it. So there's still a few things to come, a few more improvements to make at the moment. You can see the following features are available such as aspect ratio, chaos, weird, tile, Stylize, Style Raw, as well as your Vary, Remix, Blend, and Describe, but just the version 5 version of Describe. These are all currently available version 6. However, at the moment, you cannot use things like Pan, Zoom, or Vary Region, or Tune. However, there is a new V6 version of Describe coming. It's just not available yet. Now, prompting with version 6 is different than version 5, and they've been quoted as saying that you will need to relearn how to prompt. It's much more sensitive to your prompt. So using words such as award-winning or 4K or 8K, uh, are probably best to avoid using those words because it may have a negative impact on the overall image. And if you want something more photographic or less opinionated, then you should probably go and use Style Raw. Also, lower values of stylized may have better prompt understanding while higher values may have better aesthetics. But at the end of the day, this is the alpha release. This is not the final release, so there's still a lot of changing to do, but let's check out a few comparisons between version 5.2 and this version 6 alpha release. We've got a beautiful waterfall in nature and you can see the detail in the trees looking way more realistic even the way the light hits the leaves on the left and the water looks like actual water the rocks it just has a more lifelike appearance and is a little bit more true to reality so you can tell i've done a lot of work in trying to make their photorealistic images actually look like photorealistic images a woman's face, and this is a little bit different. This is where I guess things are changing because on the left, I simply put that in and got a more photographic image. Whereas on the right, it looks more like a painting and they all turned out with that difference. So this is where the opinionated nature of version six does change things a bit. And I would probably need to go to style raw if I want to get a photo of a woman's face. The samurai standing in front of Mount Fuji. Uh, now, once again, more of a photo on the left, a little bit more artistic on the right. One thing I noticed though, after doing so much of this prompt for style videos in the past, is that he's actually holding his sword properly to a degree. The only difference is he's got a whole bunch of other things coming out of his back there. So, um, but stylistically, I don't think there's much of an improvement, just a difference here. A crowded city street. Now, version five streets look good, but they all look a little too symmetrical. And whereas the one on the right for version six, again, looks like a legitimate photograph. It really looks like I could show that to someone, they would have no idea it was created with AI. They might say the same on the left, but there's still, it's just a little bit more detached from that artificial look on the right. The Incredible Hulk always looked great with version five, with version six, the veins that are coming out of his neck and his muscles and the, the details in his skin, it is a massive step up in regards to quality. And I never thought it could really go too much further being AI, but it really has added so much detail to the photo of the Incredible Hulk on the right. So why don't you give version six a go? The way that it works is simply to go to slash settings in Discord, and you can choose it from the drop down. And of course, you can also simply add to your prompt dash dash V space six, and you will render your prompt using, using version six. And keep in mind, if you're creating on the Midjourney Alpha website, head up to the top right here, and then come down to version, and you can choose version six at the top to use it that way as well. So have some fun. Let me know what you think. 
see, I actually recommend creating a few comparisons. Try the same prompt with different versions and just see what you think the difference is. What you create will be different than what I create and we all have our own tastes and our own perceptions. So check that out. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you've got more mid-journey information, check out my channel. Otherwise, I hope to see you again soon. Have a great day.